this is looking up the block towards Green Oaks. I don't really hear it all that much. A real like super loud motorcycle went by the a minute ago and I heard it. But I mean I'm standing in the front. Nice mature trees. It's a pretty quiet street, seems like. I haven't seen any much traffic. There's been a couple cars go by. Not much. So that's kind of a 360 view. Ooh, a little cool breeze blowing in. But nice that sun knock off a little bit. So there's the front of it. It's really a, it's a good looking house. Okay. I'm gonna walk up so it's gonna be a little shaky here for a minute. Pretty much got the inside already queued up. Coming in. This is the entryway. I'm going to drop this down so that you're getting more of a full view. Alright. So here's the living room. Nice light fixture. I would replace this flooring quick. It's got a bit of a bit of an aroma. Not horrible, but I'd, I'd probably swap it out anyway. All right, on the move. So this is in the front door. Like if I came in the front door and went directly to the right. This is like a dining area. Some can lights in here that are nice. Cool ceiling fans throughout this house. This There's some wallpaper in here that's sporty. But I don't know, this room's off to the side. It's a built-in, should be able to see that, yeah. Okay. Let's go back over here. It's a shot back through the living room. Now we're gonna go up to the kitchen. Okay. Kitchen. Built in stove. The appliances look older. But I mean, they appear to be in pretty good shape. The windows are older. We got a little pantry. Kind of want to just give you a close up of this. Those are like, I guess, corks from wine bottles or something. Then you got a butcher block counter looking out the kitchen to the pool. Okay, on the move. Just going to turn straight around. Dining room. I'm going to show you the laundry room and I guess pantry area because it's a pretty good size. They've got really nice light fixtures in here. Not that that's, I mean, that's obviously something that you can do yourself. Good size pantry. There's actually, I'm standing in a doorway that's actually a pocket door between the laundry room and the the, I guess, breakfast area. Another little pantry here. I couldn't find a light, so it's kind of not much to see in there. Garage. Looks pretty standard. I do see a garage door opener, although we determined that at this time, it's not hooked up. Looks like somebody re-drywalled the 
ceiling at some point. Things I look for in a garage, that garage door looks like it's in good condition. Um, you just want to make sure you can effectively secure your belongings. Let's take a look at hot water heater. Looks like a 50 gallon, but I'm not going to crawl in there to look. General electric panel. That's good. We want anything except the Federal Pacific. Set you down here. Quick shot of the kitchen again. All right, back across the house, through the living room. The front door was back to my left. Now we're coming into the master. It's pretty, it's long, but it's not, it's not super wide, but it'll probably still be Pretty good shape in here. Good ceiling fan. Can lights. You'll notice I'm talking about ceiling fans because in Texas, ceiling fans make a difference. Okay. Get a shower. Give you a little up and down there. I don't know how tall you are, but I'm 5'11 and would be comfortable in that. There's a half wall right below me here that gives you a little separation for your toilet area. You got double closets I'm going to move you forward here. This is not a pass-through closet so a pass-through would be if that wall were not there and these two closets were connected not still though I mean sometimes it's preferential that way countertops gold fixture these cabinets look oh, kitty proofed already that's cool they're a blonde cabinet but they look somewhat updated Okay. Look at the back two bedrooms and then we'll head out and have a look at the pool. 